Hi everyone, I've uh, got a few hours free today because the wife is working. So uh, I thought I'd bring you out on another fungal foray. Thoroughly enjoyed the uh, the hour that I had last week. And I've come to the same woods. I say woods that I know very well. But I'm going to go over to the other side today and uh, just see uh, the other side of the road and just see how that's producing. Um, <clears throat> it's quite cold. Well, I say cold, it's, it's a little, little chilly. We've got uh, some uh, south, southwesterly winds coming through. Had quite a bit of rain overnight. Not expecting any for today. There we go, literally about 12 steps into the woods and we've already come across the first fungi of the day, common puffball. There's another little one just over there. So uh, not a bad start, I'm going to leave them where they are and uh, Carry on, see what else we can find. Now we've come across uh, another small little patch of the puffballs. That's quite a big fella there. And more. And another little one there as well. Seems to be quite a few of these around. Alright, let's carry on, see what else we can find. Little blighters get to these uh, get to these mushrooms quick, don't they? Got another uh, another nice one there. See some sort of scales on the cap. It's got a skirt around the stipe. See the uh, gills there. It's being munched away nicely as well. I keep looking. See that? I'm in the middle of a holly bush because I found some cracking uh, bits in here. I've got the, um, the puff balls yet again. But there's some others that I want to get my my camera close to for you. Um, in fact, literally, I've just spotted right underneath my feet some amethyst deceivers. I'm really chuffed about that. It's probably one of my most favourite mushrooms. Um, I say you've got to be a bit careful with them. There is only one other mushroom that it can possibly be confused with. So I gather, and that's the lilac fibre cap. But once you've seen these things for real, and you've identified them, there's not really much mistake in them. And there's a few more, just some tiny little ones. It's not a huge, great... Uh, sorry, the camera's getting caught on different things. Not a huge, great patch of them, but there's a couple. That's a really beautiful one just there, right next to the... Uh, the puffball, look at that. So that's a really good find. But I've got in my eye on some others as well and I've just spotted one through there. Let's see if we can get closer to that one for you. That's a really beautiful looking belit by the looks of it. Bay belit, maybe. 
I'll try and get that one up. It's a bit, looks a bit old now, a bit past it. So I might just leave that one, but I've spotted another one right in the, in the dents. If you hear strange noises, it's just me forcing myself through the holly, all right? So the things I do to bring you guys these shots, you know? But that's a beauty there. And then we've got another one just over this way. Be careful of these amethyst deceivers. Um, this one might take me a little bit more effort getting to. Right, this is the kind of thing that I'm always on the lookout for. And it's the white mushrooms with the skirts at the top of the stipes and stem just underneath the cap. Now if I just clear away gently some of the undergrowth what I'm looking for is to see if it has got a vulva at the base very gently and it to me it does appear as if it's got the remains of a vulva it does, yeah, at the base. And it's also got um, white gills. So that knife will be thoroughly cleaned. Let's just get uh, get up close to that one. For you. So there's a couple of identifying features there. First of all, the vulva at the base. A white stem, a skirt, and also white gills. Now I can't be 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that that's something pretty nasty. So I'm going to leave that one well alone. Um, you know, you get things like the death cap and the destroying angel that, that look very close to these ones, especially with those identifying features. So uh, let's move on and see what else we can find. One more animal for this deceiver. The thing is, when your eyes start getting getting uh, attuned to looking around that's when you start to see more of them there's another little amethyst deceiver there right underneath my feet and another one and literally right between my legs there's another couple coming up so uh, it's always worth stopping, you know, just where you are and having a look around. That's a really beautiful one there. That's a really good, uh, good looking amethyst deceiver there. Um, they're not enough to pick really. They're not come, come up in any real great quantity. So, uh, as we usually do, if I, if I can't harvest responsibly, then I won't harvest at all. Right, let's uh, let's see what we got around the corner. Oh, 
got a few uh, real crackers around here, but I thought I'd show you this one first of all. Um, this is the biggest of the bunch. Like that. Let's put my uh, fire steel and Victorinox Outrider in front of that for scale size. That's a feral sized uh, fungus that one. It sort of looks to me as if it's uh, yellow crack bullet. It's uh, certainly got the texture can't really see on that one. It looks like a yellow cracked bullet. Bullet. Um, again, in the middle of a in the middle of a holly holly bush. Let's see if we can see a bit better on that one. Yeah, it looks like a yellow cracked bullet to me. Bullet. Let's try with the uh, the light on. Apparently they are, if it is a yellow crack bullet, they are edible, but people say not recommended because of uh, a relatively poor flavour compared to some others. Um, there's one other of the same, same type just there. So it looks like the stipe has got some slight readiness to it. So. Uh, I think that's a yellow cracked bullet. It looks at that angle as if the, the cap is sort of slimy or wet, but it's not. So there we go, let's carry on, see what else we can find. We're on a roll now. Wow, this looks pretty incredible. Um, it's funny because you can't see an awful lot on screen, but we are uh, treated here to a, a wealth of fungi coming up. Um, literally right underneath my feet to start with. Let's have a look at this little belete here. There we go. And then straight away my eyes have picked up another one a few, well probably about a metre away. Just there. So I can get the camera around the other side. That's a bit better shot. And then right next to that, the remains of uh, another one just there. And then literally a foot away, there's another one. And another one. Two in fact. What else have we got? A couple of feet away. Another amethyst deceiver. Quite an old one, that one. But looking round, just underneath my feet, there's another couple of amethyst deceivers. Uh, and another little one. We've got another bullet. On the stump here. Beautiful examples.
Well, that was a pretty good little wander around there for a couple of hours today. Hope you enjoyed coming with me. Um, a really good day for the Belites. Plenty of puffballs, loads of the amethyst deceivers. So, uh, I think because of that, I'll probably edit this down a bit and, you know, miss, uh, miss some of them out, maybe. Or just put a picture slideshow type thing at the end. So, uh, there you go. Hopefully, uh, we'll get out again in the not too distant future. And, uh, see what's going on. So, I'll uh, see you in the next video.